day to everyone. My name is Johanna May White Tecoquet and this is my explanation for the poem of Dr. Jose Rizal's The Song of Maria Clara. But before that, let me read the first stanza. Sweet are the hours in one's native land, where all is dear, the sun means blessed. Life giving breezes sweep the sun, and death is softened by love's care. The first stanza expresses how wonderful everything is in one's own native land. The hours are sweet, everything is friendly, the breeze is vivifying, love is more tender, and even death is gratifying. In these four lines, Rizal signifies that Maria Clara, uh, Clara's love for her country is so great that it colors everything else that she sees. It is this love that makes everything else, no matter how mundane and ordinary, more beautiful than even the most beautiful wonders elsewhere. Their beauty is not a result of their empirical nature but of their being rooted in the territory of her country. The second stanza, warm kisses play on mother's teeth. On her front, tender breeze awakening. When round her neck the soft, the soft arms sleep, and bright eyes smile, all love partaking. The second stanza employs metaphor, where the mother land is a human mother, and the speaker in the poem is her infant child. Next is the is the third stanza. Sweet is death for one's native land. Where all is dear, the sunbeams bless. Death is the breeze that sweeps the strand without a mother, home, or love scarce. Having employed the use of metaphor in the previous stanza, it now becomes much easier for any reader of this verse to understand the use of irony in these closing lines for how can death be sweet? Death can only be sweet in the arms of the one you love. As the speaker here likens herself to a child, then no death can be sweeter than in the arms of her mother. And deathly Rizal closes is the breeze for one without for one without a country, without a mother, and without a love. So I choose this uh, uh, I choose my visual background. Uh, because according to Dr. Jose Rizal, Maria Clara is a religious woman who is portrayed as a devoted sweetheart, a caring friend, and a devout uh, daughter. She represents the innocence and purity of a secluded native woman. Maria Clara is a term used to represent the ideal Filipino woman. It is the name of the character who embodied those traits in Jose P. Rizal's groundbreaking novel, Nolimi Tangere. That's all. Shukran and wassalam.